So, so, so the life of a dog is. Yeah. <laughs> Early morning, I already chewed the uh, uh, wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it didn't shed properly, so it felt it. So oh, okay. Yeah, so we had to soak it, um, and then I just went to chew because the two girls are not that comfortable with it. Like a quick. Yeah. It's actually quite a pain one. Okay. Well, there's wrinkles. Where did I put the string? Okay. So what are the wrinkles? In, um, um, I put my label just around the like the neck, okay. Okay. and then I do a, a cross cross knot. Um, the last label goes it goes off. Yeah. So Alex has shown me nicely how you do a, a surgeon knot. So it's three times to the to the one side, mm -hmm. right, and then three three times okay. to the other <coughs> side, and then these two knots pulls nicely against each other and won't go off. Because this is a rope one. Okay. Yeah. If it's a live one I would take liver. And the liver is easy, just you, you cut the the liver just pops up. But because this is a, a old road kill being in the freezer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into the base of the tail. Okay. Because that is where um, there's a lot of good muscle. If it was a male, it's actually perfect because I will cut in yeah. Invert the penis, I pull out, uh, I cut off the retractor muscle for DNA. But this is not uh, such a female. So and then you still get correct measurements. Mm, it's yeah. Up taking it to the Guys. Shit. What? Did you shoot? Just make a cut. Yeah. Just grab a bit of the muscle. Okay, yeah, open my phone. I'm going to take this. This is a really small piece, so I'll take another. Another piece. After it. Yeah. <coughs> It's always, always an option if you can take it out, but um, it might take like some bit of uh, diagnostic features away. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do it, you just need to make sure you count all the scales before. before I go. Uh, So now I need to preserve it. And usually what I do is I do a bunch of them with, with the taking DNA, it's not the day, DNA. Okay. So then I preserve it because you don't have to work with the formula and the and the uh, um, DNA. DNA itself. But I've made a little tray here that's just got a piece of cloth in the bottom and also if it's on the plastic it just slides around. So it's just a piece of cloth and then I've put some formula in here. Get a ball for us, um, okay. You'll see why we're doing that now. Okay, so there's a like a, it's a, it's a wormy. Um, so we determined some male. So um, the hemipenis, often you need to gauge with the thickness of the tail to where the hemipenis go. And you often, with experience, start learning the different snakes. They've all got different sizes of hemi penis. But what you need to do and what you need to avoid is not to puncture the hemi penis. You need to cut below it. So again, it's like we did to the other ones. Just get it in, cut forward. And then I just take the forceps and you just feel for the muscle. Okay, so there's one of them. They've got two retractor muscles. 
Turn the other one. So they they quite difficult to mount. Okay, there's the other one. Got the two muscles, and sometimes what is nice to test that you do have the muscle is you push that out and then you pull this muscle here. If it pulls back, you know you've got them. Okay. So now because I'm busy with it, I'll just take this as a DNA sample. Cut it, cut it. Got a nice DNA sample there. Okay. okay. So now what you need to do is you know to now now you know you've you've, you've severed those uh, uh, muscles. You just push it out. Okay. Now what we do is we put this over over this, over the hemi penis. Get it to the base of the hemi penis. Okay. Now I need to get form then because now it's like a balloon. I, I like to hold my finger on, on those. Just put just put it like pressure onto it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> just So sometimes you will see that the, the muscle holds it back still. Mm -hmm. That is like like the thorny little thing. thing you want. Quite smooth. So sometimes what, what I like to do is um, to get it into that base of the muscle. Mm -hmm. I often just go, again you need to be careful that you don't punch it. Just go slowly in. Get it into Okay, I've got a feeling the muscle is still holding this a little bit back. Okay, I'm going to pull this this tight. So, yeah. so basically, no, large. yeah, um, uh, puffy is, is a lot bigger. Uh, um, pythons is also monster. It might be the puffy that I'm thinking about. That got a little, it's got a little, almost like a little worm right. on it. But each snake's hemi penis is unique. Uh, a little bit, as far as once, but it's fine. Um, but this, this you might have done before, it's just picking them in. Mm -hmm. So um, <coughs> other people cut them open, I, I just um, inject them. So I always start off with the pail. Yeah. And the easiest thing is just go through the plate. Okay. You'll often see if you put it in a towel, it just goes like, yeah. you can see how it falls out. Okay, then I start... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I'll, uh, I'll show you if we've got it welded. So I just do do that and I just do like every few okay. centimeters. Yeah, no, that's the easy, easy bit. This guy was the low part was was not being done so much. Huh? Mm -hmm. You can see that. I got internal bleeding. So. a little bit more than what's in this street. Okay, when you have an entree, you just, um, I, um, I prefer mine to be like, in a, uh, a lot of people preserve these in like a little circle. Um, I like mine a little bit more. Um, yeah. uh, uh, um, depends on also what kind of bottles you have available. So, uh, it's, it's now when I uh, pull off the shed skin, so it's just now not the price. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Actually, you, 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 you pull off the rest, it will be also like that bright yellow. The formula in the arm is definitely too strong. Hmm? Definitely too strong. Yeah, you need, to, you need to mix it up uh, yeah. just 10%. Um, it's like, um, it's not uh, like um, three parts, um, one part from the concentrate, yes. and then the nine parts of water. And okay. I often, when I'm going to on, on trips, I often just make it a little bit stronger, but if it's too strong, then you um, get this problem of then turning quite black and, yes. and brittle and stuff like that. Okay. So often with the the um, the, the, the old stuff or the freezer stuff they often don't, don't want to lay like nice. pickle properly. Yeah. So that guy is done. Now what I do then is I put another piece of cloth over that. So that it just doesn't don't dry out. And then we put the lid back on. <coughs> Um, okay, so for this guy, um, uh -huh. yes. Um, a day in the life of Werner. Yeah. <laughs> no, I need to go sort out the rent cost. What's wrong with it? I'm just freaking out. Didn't shit properly. <laughs> <laughs> 